don't know, man. I ain't gonna say, you know what? Do you know why you're here? Yeah. The courts referred you to me for me to ascertain your mental disability. You know the words? To find out if you're able to stand trial for the crime you committed. Uh, was the mask really necessary, Doctor? Well, with movements of high risk patients like yourself, this is the procedure so far, yes. You do know that the courts are seeking death penalty. So you speaking to me, you know, you need help your cause. Uh, my cause? <laughs> There are no place in your society. Your civilization. Why are you going to make so much of that? What do you mean, my man? Well, as a doctor of the mind, I mean, you're supposed to be able to determine, you know, between that of the same world and that of the, well, different. It don't matter, it don't matter. It don't matter what reality I walk or, or, or I'm a part of. I don't know, I, I don't know, doctor. I mean, yeah, that is what you are here for to determine, right? Is it like your own job? No, my job is to ask questions. And based on how you respond, then I'll be able to determine. What? I'm mad? Or that we have a little bit of crazy in here. It has some who believe in God, it has some who don't believe in none, that he came from the sky, and some of us believe in everything. Yes. I don't know about you, but I, I, I think that the, that would determine what a, or describe what an unstable mind is. Would you agree? So we're not here to speak about other people's thoughts and actions, we're here to speak about your thoughts and your actions. Hmm. Interesting. I want to say this in the No. It's funny that society and people like yourself, y'all you don't take responsibility for creating the monsters like me. Society creates divisions. Religions, this one, this pray to that God, I don't pray to this God. Why don't they teach the truth? Everybody prays to the same God, do they? I don't know. Remember? I'm the crazy one. I'm like, you know what I've got it so far? That you please blame on everything and everyone besides yourself. You're missing the point, doctor. Why are my actions condemned? Why are my actions wrong? When for hundreds of years, human nature determines they act on emotions that what they believe is correct and just. Why is it that my actions are wrong and yours are right? Why is it that if I kidnap someone and pull them against their will, it's called kidnapping? But the police brings me here and holds me against my will. It's called legal detention. You think that is unfair or fair? You don't you think that is unfair? Well, you know something, son? That's why you also need my mind. So that we all stand accountable for our actions and we don't cross our minds. Let's be real, dog. Laws are for the lawless, and justice is just an illusion. A power only a few will control. This is me. <laughs> well, this is not. <sighs> okay. Let's let's let us let us get down to why I really here. Yes, I killed him. And yes, I was a 
of sound mind and put this down in your book take this report tell the judge I want the death penalty because for monsters like me death is only the beginning well I mean, it would have been cut and dry yes, if it was just murder but you didn't just murder the man you mutilated the man and then and then ate the man's heart and I was I mean that was no wonder without your eyes and your heart there will be no judgment only eternal damnation is it not the eyes are the windows to the soul and as in the old days your heart was weighed against one of my feathers when my brother Anubis watched the scale and it was determined there and then where your final destination would be in the judgment. So what are you trying to tell me? Are you trying to propose me that you're some kind of Egyptian god? What you feel to be a wise daughter is that there is another one within this one and it is because of your deeds that you must turn far from the reality and now we the words have been clear to the fate of mankind. Thank you.